come to CAD in BIM, where we train civil and structural engineers. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to calculate quantities of uh, steel in BIM. Previously, you had seen how to do the same in slabs. And now, we are going to see how we can calculate the quantity of steel in BIM based in uh, BS. 8666 uh, Excel sheet or using this Excel sheet that I have here. So this Excel sheet helps us to collect the information of the steel. After we collect this Excel sheet, which includes uh, which includes the number of the members, bar mark, uh, type, size of bars, shape codes and their total length. So after we collect them, then we take them to our Excel for analysis. So this is the information that we want to collect with the Excel sheet, accurately collect, then from there now we can come and do the analysis here. So that if you are now interested to learn on how maybe you can submit, let's say you are given a, a task like this, and you are, maybe you are given something so many beings like this and you are stranded how to work out and this video is for you for not being not knowing how to the clear way of how to maybe calculate uh, steel in maybe beam so many beams like this in a quicker way and a more accurate way then this is the video for you so without wasting much time that will be the lesson for today let's get started so you open your drawing, it could be in PDF or in DWG like mine here. So we are just going to use an example. My example is here, this beam here. So if I work out this beam properly, then you will be able to use the same same idea or the same same procedure to work on, on the rest of these beams here. So let me just pick a simple beam because I want this video to be short and work it out. Let me just select this one here. So we have my beam here as you can see. So I'll what I'll record first will be the B member which is 42. You can see it's 4 B2 and is a beam of 230 230 by 400. So you can see it is a record as 4. You can see 4 B2 and then you look for the type marks of your steel beams or your steel here. So I have a type mark 2 for the links and then I also have uh, for the rings, you can call it links or rings and then we also have bar mark 23 and 24 for these steel bars. So just record them here. We understand that steel it is the steel that we use here is of type T. Otherwise, you can have other types, maybe B, S, R, but these are not available. What you usually use is type T. So, and then we also take the size. You can see for bar mark 2, this is 13 by 8. So, the size of the bar is 8. You can write here the size is 8, but the size of the rest of the bars is 16. So, you just indicate here 16. So, and then number of members is just a single member. And then for bar mark 02, we have 13, 13 pieces. You can see this is 13 pieces for bar mark 2. So, you can see I've written here 13. You can simply write 13 here like that. And then this one also you write there are 2, 16, and there are 2, 16. You can see both sides. So, that's 2, 2. So, you just write 2. Then write two, and then you come to the shape code. So you should understand the shape code. They are just here to confirm. You look at the links. We always take the shape code of fifty-one. That's the rings. You take the shape code of fifty-one. So you need uh, like A, B, and also you can have other shape codes depending on your, how 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 you bend your steel rivers. So we have shape code 51 and 11. So 
for our beam, you can see it here. Let me just expand this so that we will have a clear look at it. So you can see this bar here. It's similar to this shape code. I'm just going slower so that at least so we have 21. See how it looks like? So we have A, B, and C. And also we have the Macfton. So you can now come and record your length. You come to your schedule and record for the map 51. We have A, B, which I've shown you. So I record A. So our size A for this case here, this is the length. You can simply get them from the cross-sectional area here. So we are told that the beam is 400 by, as you when you read it, it's 400 by that is so you give provision for cover so if you have a beam of 230 let's assume the curve is 25 both sides so this 50 to that minus 50 that will be 180 and 400 minus 50 that will be 300 so a will be 300 and then b will be let me just tell you now here so if we come to the shape codes for the links here so this a will be 350 that's 400 minus 50 and b will also be 230 minus 50. this is the cover the allowance for of the cover on both sides which is 180 so if i come and record or if i come to my schedule here and record uh, 180 and uh, 100 i take now from there i record 350 180 and then you know that the bent length of this side uh, should should be one it can be eight because is uh, to get the c and d you can refer to our bending schedule of our bending schedule let us see here the bending schedule in, in table three of this pdf so you can just come and get number that is 8 and then we have length A which that's giving us 115 so, so you can take to be either 80 or 100 or simply say that to get that bent it's usually 10D so 10 times 8 size of the bar which is 80 or you can go up to 150 so we just take 100 100 which is just fair yeah so just come to this to to bar mark 16 to bar mark 20 bar mark 23 and 24 which they are just similar I'm just trying to insist so that you understand. So this bar mark 14 and 13, you can see how they look like. I will show you this. Now you can see we just take the shape code of shape code 21. So we have A, B, and C. So let's just open our Excel sheet. So this is A, which is 160, which is 1. 16 times 10 is 160, 750, that length, then 160. So just record. So once you record your data here, then you can simply now go to, you can simply now transfer this, this data to Excel sheet like this one here for analysis. So I will also want to tell you. So this one will give us the weight directly here so we can see this is the weight of our first uh, um, bar mark or of our first bar which is bar mark uh, 02 this is the weight this is the second one this is the third and remember this table is automatic maybe if maybe the length was changed let's say even if the shape code was changed let's say if maybe you change this shape code to 00, zero. let's see automatically affect the length if maybe you change the shape code to maybe another maybe say 25 it will do the same and it will give you some error that you are supposed to correct 
So this is maybe if you change based on the length, let's say the length here, made of 250, maybe put 500. So you can see the value here changed automatically. So if maybe I change the diameter from 16 maybe to 25, you can see the size here also change. So if maybe I change from 16, maybe I put 20. Initially it was uh, 3 to 4, but let's put let's say it was maybe 10. You can see 1 to 5. So this table is just automatically to calculate for you everything. So once you key in all your data here. Once you key the data for all these beams here, remember that in most cases you will be filling this table and then you open a new table. So you just save this one. Maybe you can save this at zero one. Maybe you can save it somewhere. Maybe I'm bending schedule here. So maybe you can save it. Maybe this was one. You start maybe from B one, two, B two. So maybe the next time you can save it, you can just come and open a new one and say B, B, no, let's say maybe 3, B4, or B5, something like that. And then clear this 3, B5, just clear this content. Once it is full up to down here, clear it, then re-enter fresh. Then once you are done, now you transfer all this information that you have gathered from this your beams to an Excel sheet like this one now here. Where now you can indicate all your members, all of them. And also you can indicate your bar mark, all of them. Size of your bars, pieces that you have gotten. So this is the information that you will get from your data. Now for instance, this is what I've gotten here. Now you can come and do some analysis. So to calculate the total length of this bus, if you have the length of each bar and you have the number of pieces that were there, you simply multiply them and convert the millimeter into meters. So that's what you can do. You can say that total length will equals to uh, equals to bracket. Now use your Excel uh, Excel formulas. So for our total length will equals to number of quantity. You can let's say equals to uh, quantity. You can see what, what, where I'm clicking here, and then once I get that quantity, I'll multiply it with the length. Then I'll get the total length in millimeters, but now I want to divide it and get it in meters. So that's the meters that I'm getting here. So you can simply do what run that formula across all these cells up to there. Okay, let me just extend it one more time. Yes, very good. Then you come down here. Now, if you want to get the bar, number of bars, number of 12 meter bars, you would say equals to brackets. Divide by the total length, have total length of 38, and then each bar is 12 meter, and then just divide by, divide by 12. But the formula say plus one, but remember sometimes you'll get some test of cases. So just the this is plus one plus another one with the formula so plus two. You can simply say that way, and then with your formula, now just run it across this all these cells. And you have your number of bars just as fast as that. Then now you want to calculate weight of each bar. Of each size of the bar per length, kg per length of maybe 16 diameter bar or 15 diameter bar. So how do you calculate that? There is this formula that is usually here, which is d squared over 160, just this one here, to give us that kg per meter of the length. So it will equal to bracket, simply say it's d. Uh -huh. So it is yes. It hasn't reflected yet equals to brackets d s multiply by that's like squaring bracket then divide by one six is two then just click okay 
run it across. So this is applicable for you also slab when you're doing analysis. So I'm done there. So I want also now to get the total weights of each. So I have the per meter length and I have the total meter. So what to get a total length, the total weight will be equal to equals to brackets multiplied by number of meters and then multiplied by kilo kg per meter of that so I can simply say multiply by the weight per meter weight of steel per meter because if you have different thickness of bars each meter of those bars will be different so for 16 diameter bar one meter of it will be a bit more for eight will be less so you have it there, so that's 60 kg. So you can run the formula across this all these cells up to this side. Yeah. And that's where you have it. Then now you can come and do the summation of total kg. So this one will equal to total bracket. So let's no sum equals to sum bracket. Hold shift, go up to top there, to the first cell, run down to the last cell here. Bracket, just click OK. So you, you have your values here. So this is the total kg for our beans that are needed here. So in addition to that, you can filter. This Excel sheet has filter. So if you need this one, leave a comment so that I can send you this Excel sheet. So let's say I want to know the number of 25 size bars. So 25, how many are they for the entire beams? Just say okay. Then I have them here. So I I simply need uh, how many pieces of maybe D25 or bar 25. So this is a uh, six, that's 10, 10 pieces. So maybe I want to get those for size eight. You can simply do your filter, maybe eight, you click okay. You can see here they are, you can add all these pieces and get your summation. So you can filter. So it help you to filter. Maybe you want to get of different shape code. So maybe you can just check, click OK. Let's filter by shape. Maybe the rings. You want to get simply for the rings. How many rings? Uh, which is by mark 51. You have it here. So you can simply add all this. Yes. So that's all about our lesson today.